maybe the defense caught napping a little bit. The concentration level may not have been there. I agree with you on that one because those types of plays, when they result like that, they're almost like big bolts of lightning, aren't they? Whoosh, and off he goes. Crosby on now to kick it away. Fielded about a yard deep. And he'll take this up past the 20 and down at the 22-yard line. The Bears offense now gets set to head back onto the field and hoping to do better than they did their last possession when they punted the football. Appeal to the vanity of your offensive line. Tell them that they control your fate. Leverage guys. Win the line of scrimmage. If you do that, you start to win first down. You win second down. And guess what? You start accumulating first downs. And that's what they need in order to not punt the ball again. They go play action here on first down. And this would complete to Marcus Wheaton. And he's able to get out to the 32, brought down there. Give him nine there on the first down completion. Charles, Thursday night game, I think a lot of teams probably say shrink the playbook somewhat. Is that correct? I think you're right about that because you just don't have the amount of time that you have in a normal week to put in a full playbook. So as you said, you shrink the playbook, take out the plays that work best for you. You know what else you're looking for? It's a, who are the freshest guys coming up the last game to play on a Thursday night? Guys have a little extra pep in their step. You go to them early and often. Now third down, less than a yard. Try to run for it with Howard. And he's able to get it to the 33. Good enough for a first down. They only get two there, but on third and one, that's all they needed to keep the drive going. That right there, a good sign for a team that's had trouble converting third down so far this year. They're in the bottom five in the NFL, but they come through there. Yeah, and I bet if we put our guy Marvin on the case and say, Marvin, tell us where they rank on third and what, right? I bet they're in the top five in the league on third and five, third and six, third and seven or more because that's how you end up not converting. Just too much yardage to pick up on third down. Pretty nice coverage there, but a missed opportunity for an interception. Let's face it, a lot of these defenders, they've got it all. Speed, athleticism, hands, a little bit questionable. Trubisky, draw play, gives to Howard. And look out, I think he's gonna go. And he takes this one down all the way near the 30. That one's good for 35 yards on the ground and a first down. Boy, he does it at a high level, doesn't he? Because when I watch him, I think of his vision. Straight ahead, peripheral, also has that sense of where holes are going to be before they actually open. I think that helps set him apart from many of the other bats in the league. Now Trubisky, Miller on the catch over the middle. And he'll be taken down as that will take us to the end of the first quarter of play. A gain of six there on first. One quarter in the books here on a Thursday night. 7 nothing is our score. They've got it second and four to start things out. Right there, right there. All right, here we go. They'll run it now out of the gun. And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. A nice pick up there of 11 yards, and it'll move the sticks. Another nice run there by Jordan Howard. And, and when we talk about fresh legs, how about 2016? Jordan Howard, the number two rookie rusher. Heck, the number two rusher in the NFL <laughs> behind another rookie, Ezekiel Elliott. In the first three weeks of the season, he only had 12 carries. So once week four hit, really found his groove. Out to the flat. That's complete to his running back. And he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. Call it a gain of five. And that'll make it a second down. He's already proven to be a factor in the running game on this drive. Now he gets involved in the passing game. I think what we're seeing here is the modern version of workhorse in the NFL. Being able to run it and catch. And now Miller hit, and he fumbles. And the Packers pick it up. And I think he's going to go. They're not going to get him. He's at the 50. He's at the 30. 10. And they will score. It's a Packer touchdown.
huge, huge play by the defense, not only to force the fumble, obviously, but to return it for a touchdown. And I know it's no fun for anyone who plays offense, but isn't it fun to see how a defense rallies when there's a fumble return and everyone tries to find someone to block and bring it all the way home? But I always like their celebrations because they don't get there that often. No, they're not choreographed very well, usually. <laughs> And it's good to make it 14 nothing. So not only the cough up, but then the pick up on the other side, the scoop, and the score the other way, the fumble return for a touchdown. And you can bet they're preaching two hands on the ball here as the kicks away following that fumble return. This is fielded at the goal line. And good starting field position. He'll get this one all the way up to about the 35-yard line. Jordan Howard and the rest of the offense heading back out there. He's been good. They've utilized him well, but they're losing here in the second quarter. What might they change offensively? I think that what you try and do is expand how you get the ball to him a little bit. Get him out in open space, maybe swing the ball to him. What's that they used to call it in the West Coast offense, the long handoff? Yeah. Serve as your running play that way, as well as continue to feed him the football. Some of these runs now may pop bigger later in the game because of the effects of running it. Sometimes people, after a while, they don't want to tackle him anymore, or they get tired, or they get out of position, or he runs through tackles. Continue to feed him the ball. He's having that kind of game. Yeah, might they get him the ball in some space in some different ways here? It's not one guy, it's another with this defense. I mean, this is the number one unit against the rush in the entire NFL. Uh, they know how to cover for each other, and yeah, they've got great players. They also have very dependable players, too. And the Packers give him nowhere to go, and they bring him down. Kenny Clark in there to get him, and that's sack number six for him on the year. Okay, you know my bias is about to come out here. A lot of people think that the offense is just moving in the wrong direction. I'd say they're moving in the right direction because the defense is pushing them back. Former defensive guy. Now, as a quarterback, third and long, you really got to rally the troops here, don't you? Yeah, you're doing a big way. And what else do you have to look out for? More pressure coming at you because it seems to be working pretty well. Out of the gun, Trubisky. And he's going to go down again. Kenny Clark, he's the one to get him, and that's sack number seven for him on the year. I'm starting to feel for that quarterback back there. I mean, you know me. Normally, don't have a lot of empathy for the QB, right? In this case, definitely. He's been on constant duress this entire game. I don't know how he's surviving back there. And to think, there's still a long way to go in this football game. Here's Pat O'Donnell now, standing about a yard deep in his own end zone. He gets this one away, and boy, it's another boomer. Taken right about the 40. A oh, nice move in midfield. A good return there, call it 13 yards. And this offense, they're going to have excellent field position. They take over with a first and 10 on the short side of the field. Now the Packers get set to go. They had to go a long way on their last drive to score the touchdown. This time they get at least a little bit more of a cushion with field position. I have to think that with this field position, after what they did on the last drive, they might want to take a shot right now and try to cut down the length of the drive. On the ground, it's Montgomery as he's got this down inside the 40 to the 39. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave them with a second and two. Coming right, this is Montgomery on the toss. And there he goes again. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. That one good for 16, and the drive will continue. Rodgers now on first down. And a little floater there, but it'll wind up incomplete, falling to the ground. But he kind of forced that one there, didn't he? It's almost like he predetermined where he was going to go with the football. Yeah, he wasn't really going through progressions. He wanted to go to his top guy. You do that against this defense, they'll make you pay, won't they? Yeah, they certainly will. They react very quickly to the thrown football. His throw caught right around the six. 
And he will get this into the end zone. Touchdown, Green Bay. Martellus Bennett with touchdown number seven on the year. And the Packers add on to their lead. Boy, it's nice to have that big, reliable target you can go to. Each and every time. A lot of people see that position as a fallback. Throw it to them when all else fails. Not at all. This guy can make plays, and that's exactly what he just did. Yeah, play here for a touchdown. Crosby on now to kick it away. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. And from back there, a wise move. He'll just sit on this one, and it'll come out to the 25. And now Chicago getting ready to go as they take the field. And some dangerous territory. You're already down three scores. A three and out here, or an inability to put any points up. This one might be over by half. Yeah, and what you also have to guard against is Colin Packer pressure, and down he goes. A minute 59 to go in the first half. We're back to Lambeau following these words. We remind you that coming up at halftime, Larry Ridley will have the highlights and analysis of this first half from our studios in Orlando. And I have a feeling those highlights will be pretty one-sided, too. I think you're right, partner. On second down, Trubisky. The catch is made by Kendall Wright. And down he'll go at the 25. Eight yards on the completion, but now they face third down. They're going to need to get up and set in a hurry. Now it's Trubisky. The catch made by Miller. A pickup of 24 on the third down conversion. Now they got to get to the line quickly. On first down, Trubisky. And his throw is incomplete. He was looking for Jordan Howard that time. That'll bring up second down. I tell you, Brandon, this defense is playing with some confidence. Haven't allowed a point yet. Flying to the football. I'm telling you, it's almost 11 to the ball on every snap. Another nice job there to force an incompletion. Again on second and 10, it's Trubisky. Toward the right sideline, but it's incomplete. Feels like they're getting caught in between here because they didn't completions on first and second down. Now you got to worry a little bit about the clock because you prefer not to give them another shot here in the first half. But if you don't pick up the first down, guess what? You're likely going to have to. On third down, Trubisky. Trying to get it to Wheaton and it's intercepted. Picked off by the former first-round pick, Demarius Randall. And the return comes to a halt right at the 44-yard line. And maybe he telegraphed it a little bit right there. You've got a quarterback knowing that he's going against a rookie quarterback. He stepped in and picked it. You think he had a great week of preparation looking forward to this opportunity? And the second part of that is when you're a young quarterback, you are going to stare down targets. But oftentimes, your playbook hasn't expanded to give you full field reads as well. Makes it a little bit tougher for him. Great move by Montgomery. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. And a nice carry there of 15 yards. Rodgers going to throw. Let's it go for Nelson. And it's knocked away and incomplete. I know the initial focus was on how far that pass was downfield, but how about the coverage on the play? Able to stay with him, get his hands where the receiver's hands were going to try and catch the ball, tips it up in the air, and knocks it away. Rodgers going to give this one to Montgomery. One yard, the official pick up there, so it's going to set up third and nine. Play fake to Montgomery. Now Rodgers lets it go for Nelson. Touchdown, Packers. Jordy Nelson, his third touchdown now on the year. And the Packers add six to their lead. 
coach talk about those late in the half scores, especially ones that give your team a pretty decent cushion. He said those could be the ones that could finish.